It's the biggest little countdown. HP Lovecraft. Lovecraft, of course, is a Providence legend, and he was a great writer. He was a contemporary of Poe, and Edgar Allan Poe is, of course, much better known. But I would put them on equal footing for having influenced horror writers of the next generation. Well, Lovecraft wrote some, some great stories. I definitely a pioneer in what he did. And it's fun to think about all the horrors that went on in, in Rhode Island, and, and, you know, at least in his mind, uh, still maybe going on to this day. Providence was his canvas, and uh, you know, he had all these like little, little myths about creatures that live underneath Swan Point Cemetery and tunnels that go into the Providence where the Strand is and all that stuff. I just know that if somebody is sick and twisted as Stephen King says that you're sick and twisted, then you're sick and twisted. Um, Stephen King, Dean Coons, you talk to any of those guys and they have been influenced by his mythology. There's millions of nerds and freaks walking around College Hill in their own fantasy world and that guy did it then. You know, I've tried to reach Lovecraft a few times, but there's so many worlds within worlds and all that. I, yes, I admire him, and yes, I think he's one of the ultimate kind of Rhode Islanders. And he really set the stage for much was what was to come later on. His gravestone is just a gravestone. There's a couple of things that people have left on it, but it's, it's not a, you know, anything special. But people take pilgrimages to it from all over the world. I can't say I've made a pilgrimage specifically to his grave. Um, I like to visit some of the less popular graves, the less touristy ones at Swan Point. I think that the uh, unspeakable horrors that Lovecraft has unleashed into the collective subconscious are uh, definitely uh, something to be admired. Hold your applause.